Hi, my name is Cody Hoyer. First of all, I just want to say thank you very much for this opportunity. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I'm going to do things a little unorthodox. First, I'm going to sing two songs with facial hair. Then I'm going to come back and read for you without facial hair. Mainly because I look younger when I don't have fac facial hair. Alright, so thank you very much and I hope you enjoy. Will you join in our crusade? Who will be strong and stand with me? Beyond the barricade there is a world you long to see. Then join in the fight that will give you the right to be free. Do you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men? It is the music of a people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drum, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes. I'm back on my game now when fit as a fiddle, cause you can't deny that you want me a little. I'm back in the driver's seat, or at least in the car. I'm back on the road to where you are. I got a 9% chance of your love. A 9% chance of your love. And I'm pretty sure it's just a matter of when My chances go up to ten Tell you what, you say sorry so easy Like the rough patch is smoothed over No hard feelings, everything's fixed Well no There's dark, a mass of darkness in the world And if it traps you in that cave, like us, it beats you down Sorry can't fix it Better to say nothing than sorry. When it's night and I'm too scared to sleep, I look through the cracks, you know? Between the wood that's nailed to the window, and I can see all those little stars that I can't reach. And I think that in a hundred years, or two, or three hundred, maybe, Boys will be free. And life will be so beautiful that nobody will ever say sorry again. Because nobody will have to. I think about that a lot. Wait for me. Molly, wait! Oh, I'm not supposed to sleep. I'm supposed to be guarding the trunk. Oh, no. If she came by and... I did what you said, Molly! I dragged it right up the mountain! Nope. No, Molly. <laughs> oh, so bright. I know what that is. That must be the sun. Oh, I'm feeling you, son. And check it out. Space, light, air. I'm free! And I'm gonna have freedoms, whatever I want. <laughs> Whoa, hey bird, what's up? Me? Uh, let's see. Save the world. Got a name? Not too shabby. I just wonder if Teddy and Prentice got off the ship before it sank. I mean, how weird would it be if... Please let them be okay. Bird, you and I should make a pact. I don't leave you, and you don't leave me. Deal? No! Come back! I don't want to be alone! Come back! Hey, fine. No Molly. No Teddy. No Prentice. So what? This is perfect. Nobody after me with a stick. Nobody between me and the sky. I can just be a boy for a little while. This is all I want anyway. I gotta get out of here. You were talking to your neck thing. No, I wasn't. I know what I saw. Well, there was. There, there was a porpoise swimming alongside the ship, and it was making those funny noises that porpoises make, and I thought I'd make some funny noises too, that's all. So you were talking to a fish. Porpoises are not fish. They're mammals, just like you or Germans. Then how come your neck thing glows and rings all by itself? It's for swimming. I'm a good swimmer. It's a swimming medal. Right. Swimming. Sure. And what's star stuff? Decision. I'm going to trust you. 
Why, I'm just a boy. I know, pity. You like to look at the stars. Well, there they are. There's so many. They look safe, don't they? Sparkling like, up there like diamonds. I like when they shoot across the sky. Shoom! Sometimes pieces of them fall to earth, little bits that look like sand. Can you keep a secret? I can. Those little bits are star stuff. The trunk in Slank's cabin is full of it. There's some in here, too, in case I'm ever in trouble. Star stuff? Let me see! No! It changes people when they touch it. How? Different ways, depending on what they want to be. So, if somebody gets their hands on this star stuff, and... And they're evil and greedy like Genghis Khan, or they're hungry for world denomination like Caesar or Napoleon, or, you know, Anne Rand. Who's that? Didn't you learn anything at that orphanage? I was kind of busy trying not to die. Oh. And if star stuff's so dangerous, why are you after it? I'm a star catcher. We have special powers that we use in secret to keep star stuff away from the tyrants who try to rule the world. You mean like Queen Victoria? God save her, and no, that's different. She doesn't need star stuff to rule the world. She's British. So you're a... What is it? Star catcher. There's only six and a half of us on the planet. Six and a half? I'm still an apprentice. Okay. So prove it. What? Go on. Amaze me with your special powers. It's not a magic show. I'm not like some magician guy. Well, if you can't do anything... Fine. Whatever. Don't worry. I'll stall the pirates. Some crazy weather, huh? What are you? What are you? What am I? Black stash. Never heard of you. Liar. The stash is on everyone's lips. Why, it's the queen's trunk you're sitting on. Oh, yeah. Queen's trunk. Totally. Molly Astor told me to protect it. From who? Pirates like you. But we have all the fun. You do? Absolutely. A little swash, a bit of buckle. You'll love to love it more than bread. Now give us the trunk and join the party or appellation, please. Your name, bub? No name. Orphan. Why, you're more at sea than Columbus, boy. If you were a pirate, you'd have a proper name. You could do that? I'm the boss, ain't I? How about Bluebeard Bob, Long John Larry... Oh, we hung a bloke from the yarn darn a week ago, Wednesday. Pirate Pete, that's available. Pirate Pete. Good solid name is Peter, like a rock. That's what you'll be, boy, my rock. Now give me the trunk. Peter. Yeah, I like that. Ironic as the moonwalk in a Michael Jackson video. Now give me the trunk. And what do I do? You'd star in my nasty crew. Infamy, calamity, fraternity. You need to connect, boy. Peter. You need to connect, Peter. No man is an archipelago. Now, be good, Peter, and give your captain a, his great big treasure. Sand again. You blew it, Stash! The Queen's trunk is safe on the Wasp. We saved the treasure, Melly! We saved the world! You spark out. Peter. Oh, Peter, I thought. The most incredible thing. You won't believe. I just met this... Right, right well, good to see you, Peter. Shall we wake the boys? Been a long day. Just us, Leave then? them be. Just us. Yeah, just us. We should open the trunk, see if the star stuff's okay. Oh, no, that's not... No. I want to sit in the star stuff. Very dangerous exposure to so much of it. I don't care. Well, I do. I was so worried. We waited and waited. I told him you'd come. We waited, and the the rain and the, and the dark, it was... I was just so worried. I'm here. Do you think I've changed? You're dirtier. So, I've been meaning to ask you about the, um, about the, uh, you know, the thing you did. What thing? The kiss, okay? The kiss. What kiss? The kiss! The one you gave me. Oh, the kiss. What kiss, she says. Well, what about it? Nobody's ever wanted to kiss me. That's all. Want to? I didn't want to. We were about to be eaten alive, and I... I mean, I was just sitting there, and you grabbed me, and... Oh, for heaven's sake, such a fuss. Didn't you like it? No, it was... You uh... didn't like it? You didn't like it, and now you're telling me you didn't like it. Unbelievable. I'm not saying I didn't like it. Uh... Then what are you saying? I guess I'm saying... I guess I'm asking... Um... You stop that right now. 
I won't answer any such questions. You're inclining toward the sentimental, and that's all well and good for a boy, but the fact is... Inclining toward what? We girls can't afford to be sentimental. We must instead be strong, and when I marry, my husband will have to... Marry? Whoa! You thought I was asking you to... Not you, uh... you swat. Ah, the ego. Even if I, in the face of death, I may have, you know... Wanted to? I didn't say that. Got it. Good.